Welcome back to another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly. So we know the NCAA champs were supposed to go down this past weekend, but unfortunately because of the issues that are affecting everyone globally, they decided to cancel the event as well as other sporting events that were occurring. So didn't get to see the athletes participate. But locally in Nigeria, we did see a great meet go down on Saturday 14th. The Test the Track competition happened at Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium in Benin City, Edo State. It was serving as a preparation for the 2020 National Sport festival unfortunately it was just announced that the sports festival will not be happening this weekend so we unfortunately won't get to see that but still let's go over some of the great results we saw at this meet here first off that women's 100 meters a great field assembled up in the final there but it turned out to be praise idamaduru who came away with the win in 11.54 seconds getting that first place position ahead of blessing ogundiran who ran 11.63 seconds then coming up for third place we saw praise ofoku who ran 11.80 seconds so so great performance for Praise Maduru, who also came back in the 400 meters. She ended up getting second there behind Patience George, who's been very consistent, one of the most prominent 400 meter runners from Nigeria over the past couple years. She got the win in that 400 in 51.84 seconds. A great performance, which makes her number two in the 400 in the world for 2020. So she's definitely starting things off very well. Again, Praise Maduru came up for second here in 52.76 seconds. So strong performances by both these two ladies. Patience George getting that first place. Now let's move over to the men's 100 meters where we saw another high quality field but it turned out to be Ogo Aguero who came away in the first place 10.23 seconds. Great performance because he ran the same time in the heat so showing great consistency there. This time makes him number four in the world for the year of 2020 so definitely going to see a lot more for him as the 2020 season progresses. Right behind him we saw Ijeza Uruemu who ran 10.32 seconds. A great performance makes him in the top 15 in the world for 2020 in the 100 meters as well so these guys really strong finally in third place we saw Godson Brume who ran 10.50 seconds so all around great performances again Aguero getting that 100 meter first place 10.23 now jumping up to the 400 meters for the men we saw Erayokan Arupe come away with the win in 46.42 seconds strong performance because he was over a full second ahead of the second placer Adeyeme Sikiru who ran 47.43 seconds so strong 400 meter race from all these guys there now let's head over to the barriers first in that women's 100 meter hurdles Francis Oluwakemi came away with a dominant performance winning in 14.05 seconds over half a second away from the second placer Victoria Adumbi who ran 14.57 seconds so Oluwakemi showing great consistency through this 2020 season a lot more to come as this year progresses heading over to the men's side in those 110 hurdles turned out to be a much closer race than the women but we saw Samuel Osadolor come away with the first place in 14.14 seconds getting it just ahead of Wisdom Musa who ran 14.26 seconds getting the second place there then in third place we saw Stefan Aloyi who ran 14.43 seconds so again much closer than the women's race but still great performances by the top three in that men's 110 hurdles now let's finish things off in the field events first off in that men's long jump we saw Blessing Oluayemi come away with a strong performance of 7.60 meters to take the win over the rest of the field in that long jump on the women's triple jump side of things we saw Blessing Ibrahim she got the win there in 13.21 meters as her best jump. The only women in the field to jump over 13 meters. So great performance because of that there. Finally, in the men's javelin throw, Samuel Kure, who's been very consistent over the past couple seasons, he managed to get the javelin throw best in 70.62 meters, taking it far ahead of the rest of the field in that men's javelin. So great performances by all the competitors in the field events. All right, so those are the highlights for the test the track competition that went down this past weekend. Again, unfortunately, the now National Sports Festival in Edo will not be going down. Unfortunately, it was announced that it had to be postponed, but keep tuning in. Follow us on all of our social media so you can stay up to date on all the news and all the other content that we'll have. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back for the next episode of Niger Athletics Weekly. Thanks. Since the launch of MOC Track Club in 2016, there have been incredible achievements. MOC athletes have won 18 international medals, 34 national medals and counting. However, talents must be nurtured. Our student athlete scholarship puts our athletes through secondary school and university while catering to their basic needs. To ensure that they are well-rounded individuals, a lot of financial investments go into every athlete. MOC takes care of their education, accommodation, healthcare, nutrition, physiotherapy, 
travel expenses, and so much more. It costs a lot to keep our athletes in top form and MOC makes sure that all their needs are taken care of. Greatness has never been achieved alone. There is an urgent need to invest in our athletes. Jamaica has shown that the secret to their success was a private driven approach which the government could endorse and support. Support the MOC vision. Let us restore Nigeria's relevance in world athletics. Sponsor Nigeria's next generation of Olympians today. We will fly above the